Hello, my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. In this week's video, we're gonna cover how do you update the sort order of a stacked bar chart based on what your end user selects on, okay? So let me go ahead and pop over to a worksheet that I've got here. Um, this is called Sales by Year. Uh, it's using Tableau Superstore data set. I'm gonna upload a copy of this workbook. You wanna download it, check it out, follow along, then you can, and I'll put that link in the description. Um, so right now it's uh, showing you sales by year. Each of the colors in this uh, bar chart represents a different year. Uh, I got my subcategories and I got my sales amounts. Okay, uh, real quick before I dive into the how-to here, I wanna give a plug to Andy Kriebel, absolute OG Tableau wizard blog guy. Uh, I've been reading Andy for almost a decade for as long as I've been using Tableau. His content's great. Um, the original idea for this came from something that he put out a few years ago. So check him out. Um, okay, so how do we do this, right? So or first of all, let's talk about why we would do this. So why would I wanna change the sort order of my bar chart? I would say the biggest reason is that a stacked bar makes it hard to compare sections that don't have a shared baseline, right? What I mean by that is if somebody asks me, hey, um, which of these uh, bars has the longest light blue section? You know, I would probably be more tempted to say something up top. I do think those are probably the longest sections, but also because their starting point is so much further to the right already than something down below, it's sort of like a visual um, distortion uh, that it makes it look like it's higher even if it's not, right? So how can I get that to work? So if I click on the green section, you know, all the green bars sort first, for example, okay? We're gonna use set actions to accomplish that, okay? So I've actually set this up. Uh, this is this example is gonna be kind of particular to sorting on a year field, but you could sort of generalize this to any kind of field that you want. So what I would do here, uh, I've already got a, uh, a calculated field for my year. So I did year of order date. So I'm not using like the, the standard, you know, year of order date when you drag it out there, I did a calculation, okay? So I'm gonna go off this calculation, I'm gonna hit the drop down of my year calculated field. I'm gonna create a set, okay? Um, and I'll year set, that's fine. So let's start it out with 2019 selected, okay? That's actually the order it's sorted in already, okay? So I've got my year set. So now let me create a calculated field. And how this calculated field will work is I will say this, I'll call this my year sort field. So I will say, if year set, then one else year. So what the heck is this doing? Uh, okay, so what I'm saying is if you click on a year, basically anywhere that that year pops up, like in this case, 2019, it's actually gonna say one instead, otherwise it's gonna give us the year number. So what I'm gonna end up doing is sorting on these numbers so that one will sort first and then like 2020, 2021, 2022, those numbers come later, those ones sort later, okay? If you were using a you know text-based field, like if I was trying to sort on product name, you know maybe I would do something like then AAA to you know try and get that thing to sort first. Okay, so uh, I've got my year sort field. Let me right click and convert this to a dimension. So just to show you what's going on here, what's going on right now is if I pull my year field into a second worksheet and then I put my year sort field on rows, right? 2019 is showing as a one everything else is just showing as the actual year that it is. So what does that do? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my year field in my marks card, it's currently on color, hit the drop down. I'm gonna select sort, okay? And then I'm gonna sort uh, based on a field, that's cool, yeah. Um, we wanna sort descending, and instead of sorting on the actual year number, let's sort on our year sort field. So currently that did nothing, but check this out. Let's just manually change this set real quick. If I switch the set from 2019 to 2023, the dark blue bars should come to the forefront and everything else will stay in order, okay? So now how do we make that dynamic so that if the user clicks on the section, then it sorts? That's what we're about to jump into with a set action. Real quick before we do that, if you check out this info button up here in the top corner, um, Ollie and I run classes every single uh, month on Tableau topics like Tableau prep, Tableau calculations, uh, Tableau desktop, dashboarding. Uh, we love to run these classes. It's so fun to dive deep with people. If that's of interest to you, click on that, check it out. You can see our upcoming lineup of classes. We would love to meet you and have you there. Back to our set action. 
Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to worksheet. So I'm going to hit the worksheet drop down on my toolbar and select actions. Okay. I'm going to add an action. This is going to be a change set values action. Okay. Uh, I'll call this my year set action. So when I make a selection, I want it to target the year set. Okay. Um, running the action will assign values to set. That's cool. If I deselect that year, I want it to keep set values. So let me show you why that's important. So uh, I've got my worksheet. It's running on select, assign values to set, keep set values. So let's say, okay, okay. So now what happens is if I click on, you know, like the dark blue bar, that sorts the beginning. So what's nice is if I deselect that, it keeps that value in the set until I make a new selection, okay? And now the light blue bars sort to the front. And if I wanna get back to my sort of default sort order, I just click on that sort of light orange color again, and it's getting back into order. So again, this could be super handy when you're trying to compare these sections where, you know, if they don't have that shared baseline, it makes it more difficult to do. So I'm sure there are all kinds of variations of this you can do. Like I said, I'm sorting on a year field, so it's kind of, the calculations are a little more like number focused. Um, but if you want to sort on something like a text-based field, I'm sure that's possible as well. Um, so thank you for following along with this. Uh, we love creating this kind of content. We love when it helps people. Please let us know if it helps you. If you have questions, um, we'd love to, to dive in further. Um, yeah, thank you for being here. We drop content like this every single week. So feel free to follow along uh, for more Tableau tips and tutorials. All right, take care until next time.